how you doing out there? Welcome to Beginning Algebra, and I'm Professor Perez. Hey, today we're going to be looking at graphs of lines, and we are going to find the slope of that line. So, let's go ahead and check our volunteer of the semester, and that is Charlie. Let's see what he's up to. He better be ready. Charlie! What are you doing over there? Making a salad? What? What? Yeah, you take out a piece of paper and pencil, and let's get to work. We're doing your favorite subject. It's graphing lines. Oh, God. Actually, we're not graphing lines, Charlie. They're already graphed for you. We are going to find the slope of the line. Well, okay, I guess Charlie's okay over there. Anyway, let's go ahead and, and list our uh, line up here, right there. Okay, there is a picture of our line right there. Now, what we're going to do here is uh, uh, pick some points here. So, there are two points on that line, right, in, indicated by those black dots up there. And we're going to do what we're going to do first is make a little table here, our X and Y table there, and we're going to get some ordered pairs. So, Charlie, we're going to start at this point over here. Over here, Charlie. Look over there. That one. Okay. Now, tell me, what's the X coordinate for that point up there, Charlie? Negative five. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, so what is the y value? Three. That's good. Okay. Now, Charlie, we're going to go down, down the line here, and we're going to go to that other point, right? Right over there. So what's the x coordinate for that point, Charlie? Go! Six. Oh, very nice. Six. And what's the y value? Negative three. Negative three. Very nice, Charlie. Okay. Now, Charlie, what is the symbol we use for slope? It's not an A or a B or a C. It's yep. what kind of letter do we use for the slope of a line? M. That's M. That's right. And slope, we had talked about this in class. Sometimes we view it as rise over run. Or the change of the Y over the change of the X. Okay, it's that ratio. So, okay, so let's go ahead and try it. We're going to look for the uh, rise over run, and we're going to start at this point up here. Now, Charlie, our goal is to get from that point over to that point, okay? Now, the first thing we do is we move up or down, okay? Meaning, we're going to start at this point, Charlie. Now, to get to that other point, you realize we're going to have to come which way, Charlie? Down. Down and then to the right. Right, okay, we're going to do that. So, so Charlie said, yes, we have to come down, and then we're going to move over to the right, okay? There we go. So that's our path right there, those big black lines, okay? You ready, Charlie? Here we go, okay. So we're gonna start up there at that point there, and notice we have to come down. How many spaces do we have to come down, Charlie? Six. Six, very good. But because, okay, we're coming down six on that space, we say our rise, we're not going up, we're coming down, so our rise is gonna be indicated by a what, Charlie? Negative six. Negative six, very good, because we're coming down. And now, we have to go to the right, okay? So we came down, now we're going to go to the right. Okay, Charlie, start counting. Okay, we're going to go to the right. How many spaces do we go, Charlie? Eleven. Yeah. Eleven, very good, okay. Very nice, Charlie. So, we've got to go that way, and since we're moving to the right, we're moving that direction, we say plus eleven, okay? And there we go. So, our rise over run ends up being a negative 6 over 11 because we came down 6 and right 11 and so we say our slope is negative 6 over 11. There you go Charlie. Very nice. You've been studying, right? Yeah, you better have. Okay. Anyway, let's go on here. Okay, what we're going to do now, okay, let's go to our and uh, list our result here. We have a slope of negative 6 over 11, okay, and there's our two points for line A. Now Charlie, what is the uh, slope-intercept form equation? Everybody usually remembers that one. So what is it, Charlie? Y equals mx plus y b. equals mx plus b. Very good. Where m is the slope and b is the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. There we go. Okay. Now, we did these problems in class, and what we have to do now, okay, is we got to find the equation of this line in slope-intercept form. Well, we have two points here and we have a slope, but we do not have the y-intercept, so we do not have the value of b. Now, there's two approaches we can take. One is to use this slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b, or we can use the point-slope formula, okay? And I'm going to do this problem with the uh, 
slope intercept formula first and then Charlie will use the point slope formula to find this equation in y intercept form or yes slope intercept form sorry <laughs> okay here we go okay well the first thing we got to do using the y equals mx plus b formula we have the slope and we have to choose one of our points so I'm going to choose a point for us Charlie I'm going to choose this bottom point 6, com six negative 3 okay and now there's our point, there's our slope, so here we go. Just like we did in class, Charlie. What's the y value? Negative 3. Negative 3, okay. Now what's the slope, Charlie? Negative 6 over 11. Negative 6 over 11, very good. Now what is our x value? 6. 6, we're using that 6, okay. We got that. And finally, we can now solve for the b, right? We have b, there it is up there. Now, Charlie, we've got to solve this equation for b. Now, what we want to do is get rid of those fractions. So, how do we get rid of those fractions, Charlie? We're going to multiply both sides by what? 11. By 11. Now, we should be pretty good at this. Remember, this is all pre-algebra material now, and we're applying it in beginning algebra. Yeah, you remember that question you all used to ask me? Mr. Perez, when am I ever going to use this in real life? Uh -huh. Well, here it is, right here. This is real for you, right? Anyway, let's keep going here. So, we multiply both sides by 11, okay? And don't forget the right-hand side, we got to distribute there. Okay, there it is. And now, Charlie, what's on the left-hand side? Let me take it to 33. Three. Very good. Now, on the right side of the equal sign, what happens to those 11s, Charlie? They cancel. They cancel, leaving you with what? Negative 6 times 6. Negative 6 times 6. Very nice. And then what's left over there, Charlie? Plus 11. 11 B. Very good. Okay. So now, let's go up there, and let's keep continue to work on our problem. We have negative 33 equals a negative 36 plus 11b. And we're trying to solve for b. We need that b value so we can write our equation out. Now, Charlie, what do I have to do now? Add 36. Both Add 36 on both sides. Very good. So we'll do that. Bring down our line and our equal sign. Don't forget those negative 36s. Uh, well, there's a negative 36 plus... 36 is 0. So we just mark them off because they're going to be 0. You could put a 0 down there if you want, but we've been doing it in class like this. We just cross them out because they equal 0. Now, left-hand side, Charlie, what's left? 3. A 3 and the right-hand side? 11B. 11B. Very nice, Charlie. Okay, so let's list our equation down here. Now, Charlie, how do we solve for B? What do we do? Divide both sides by 11. Divide both sides by 11. Very good. Remember, those 11s will cancel out. Okay. Leaving you with what, Charlie? 3 equals B. 3 11 is equal to B. Very nice. So now we have the B value. All right. So now, remember, our equation was Y equals MX plus B. And now we're going to go ahead and plug everything in. Okay, let's go. Let's list it for us. There it is. Y equals negative 6 11 because that was the slope. That's the M value. And the B value was 3 over 11. And so there you go. Your equation in slope intercept form is y equals negative 6 11 plus 3 over 11. Oh, what fun! Let's do another one. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. We are going to, this was the slope intercept formula approach, and now we're going to use the point slope formula approach, meaning we're going to find the equation of the, line, of the line in slope intercept form by using the point slope formula, okay? So let's go ahead and relist our information here. There we go. There's line A there. There's our point. Okay. And again, point slope formula. Again, you have to choose one of the points. And we'll use the same point we used before. 6, comma, negative 3. Okay. Now, let me remind you though, Charlie, what is this equation up here? That equation up there is called the what? Point slope formula. Slope intercept formula. There you no, go. No, point slope okay. formula. And we said we're going to go ahead and choose 6, comma, negative 3. So there it is there. Okay, now we're going to start plugging things in. Now, remember, since we chose that point, that point, 6, negative 3, makes the x1 value 6. The point you're choosing, you're calling it point 1, so your x1 value is 6, and your y1 value is negative 3, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, start, we have the y there, okay? And now we're going to subtract the y1 value. Now, Charlie, what's our y1 value? Remember, we're using 6, negative 3. What is the y1 value? Negative 3. Negative 3. Very good. Now, what was our slope, Charlie? 
Negative 6 over 11. Negative 6 over 11. So there you go. Equals negative 6 over 11. And realize, okay, we have an x. And now we have to plug in the x1 value. So Charlie, what's the x1 value? 6. 6. Very good. So we'll put that in. There you go. Now notice here, we still have a y and an x in our equation. That's fine, because all we have to do with this one is solve for y. Now, you can do these problems either way. It's up to you. Uh, sometimes one way is easier than the other, okay? But you have to practice at your uh, algebra there so that you can get to the y value. Remember, that's our goal is to solve for y with this equation here. Okay, here we go. So, Charlie, what do we do next? Do the fractions. Okay, we'll simplify the left-hand side. Remember, oh. y subtract a negative 3 is the same as what? y plus 3. y plus 3. That's from pre-algebra, okay? And now, what are we going to do next, Charlie? Clear oh. the fractions. Very good. And so we're going to multiply both sides by our lowest common denominator, which is what, Charlie? 11. 11. So we multiply both sides by 11. Okay, now don't forget that 11 has to be distributed. Now, 11 times y is 11y. 11 times 3, 11 times 3. And then that 11 is being multiplied to the right quantity there, okay? And now, Charlie, what's left on the left-hand side here? 11y 11 11 11 plus 33. Plus 33. Well, that's what it is, okay? Now, the right-hand side, what happens to that 11 over there? The 11 and the negative 6 11s, Charlie? They cancel. They will cancel, so we should be able to handle this. Charlie, what do you get when you... Uh, clear the fractions on the right. Negative 6 times x Negative minus 6. Negative 6 times x minus 6. Okay, so let's go ahead and list your equation up there. So remember, you should be working this out, and all you at home better be working these out too. Okay. okay. Now, Charlie, what's our next step? The uh, distributive property. Very good. So we get negative 6x plus 36. Okay. And then, now, Charlie, remember, we're solving this equation for y. We're trying to get to the y equals mx plus b form the slope-intercept form, okay? And so what do we have to do, Charlie? We got 11y plus 33 on the left. What are we going to do to both sides? Subtract 33. Subtract 33, okay. Bring down your bar and your equal sign. Remember, plus 33 and a minus 33 will give you zero, so we'll just uh, cancel those out. What's on the left-hand side, Charlie? 11y. Okay, and the right-hand side? Negative 6x plus 3. Negative 6 plus 3, very good. Now, okay, Charlie. Here we have uh, 11y equals negative 6 plus 3. We're solving for y. So what do we have to do to both sides, Charlie? Divide by 11. Okay, divide both sides by 11. Now remember, dividing both sides by 11 is the same as multiplying both sides by 1 over 11. Okay? So that's what we're going to show. Here we are multiplying both sides by 1 over 11. And if we distribute that 1 over 11 to each term, okay, Notice we get 11y over 11 equals negative 6x over 11 plus 3 over 11, okay? And so this is something we discussed in, cath in class. Um, if you're working with a facilitator or a tutor and you're not quite sure about this step, then be sure to get that straightened out um, before the next exam that you're going to take. Okay, anyway, so we have this now. Left-hand side, Charlie, what happens? You what? That's right, the 11s cancel out. So, Charlie, what does y equal? Negative 6 over 11 x negative plus 3. 6x. Negative 6 over 11 x plus 3 over 11. That's right. That's what you said, right? Yeah. Okay. And don't forget to circle your answer there. So that is the same answer as we got before, right? Very good. So there we go. We did the problem in two separate ways. The first way we did the problem was we used the slope-intercept formula, y equals mx plus b, plugged in our point and plugged in our slope, and we found the b value, and then we wrote our wrote out our equation. In this particular example, we use the point slope formula, and again we use the point 6 comma negative 3. We plugged in our x1 and y1 value, and we plug in our slope, and then all you have to do is solve for y. So it's up to you how you want to approach this problem. Okay, let's do another one that was so much fun. Okay, here's our next problem. We're doing line B, Charlie. Okay, we have two points up there, Charlie. Now let's start at this point down here, this lower one here. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, make a table. Now, Charlie, what's the x value of this lower point here, right here? Negative 2. Negative 2, very good. What's the y value? Negative four. 4. Very nice, Charlie. Now, let's go up that line to that other point. Okay, you see it up there? 
Very good. So what is the x value for that point, Charlie? Six. Six. Very nice. And what's the y value? One. One. Very nice, Charlie. Okay. Here we go again, Charlie. Let's see if you remember. What is the variable we use for a slope? Is it an a, b, c, or what is it? M. It's the m. That's right. Okay. And remember, slope is the rise over the run or a change of y over change of x. Okay. However you were taught. Now, okay, Charlie, pay attention here. What we're going to do this time is we're going to start at that point over there, the one over there, Charlie. We're going to start at that point and we're going to come over down to this point over here. So we're coming this way, okay? So we'll go, we're coming from that point to this point. There it is now, okay? Now, Charlie, if we're going to start at that point, okay, we always do the vertical moves first. So from that point over there, do we move up or down, Charlie? Down. That's right, we move down. And now, do we move right or left? Left. We move left, so we're coming down and we're coming left. Now, some of you might just be able to look at the line and remember to tell the slope in that we looked at a line and said, okay, is this slope going up or, is, I'm sorry, is this line going up or is the line going down? Charlie, you always look at a line left to right. Is that line going up or down? It's going up. It's going up. So the slope should be positive, right? If your line is going up, the slope should be positive. Now, in the one before, if, as we looked at the line left to right, it was going down, so our slope was negative. Okay, but this is a positive slope. Okay, so we've already said, okay, we're going to start that point over there, come down, and move to the left. Now, Charlie, start over there. How far do you come down, Charlie? Five. Five, five steps. So we say that our rise then is a negative five because we're coming down. Okay, now we've got to move to the left. We're moving to the left, right? Okay. So there it is. Now, Charlie, how far do we have to move? We came down five, and now we got to move how far to the left? Eight. Eight. Okay. So our run is a negative eight. Okay. Now, remember, if any time you move on the x-axis, if you're moving to the right, that's a positive run. If you're moving to the left, that's a negative run. When you're going vertically, okay, if you go up, that is a positive rise. And if you're coming down, that is a negative rise. So here, we had a negative rise, a negative 5, right? And then we had a negative run, which was negative 8. So, our rise over run up here is negative 5 over negative 8. And a negative divided by a negative is a what, Charlie? Positive. Positive. So there we go. There's our positive 5, 8 slope. It means that a rise over run is positive 5, 8, okay? Now, you might be thinking, wait, wait a minute, why is a rise over run positive 5 over a positive 8? Well, it is the same as negative 5 over negative 8, right? Okay, but let's talk about that. See, if we were to start at this point over here, Charlie, and if you were to count up 5 and then move right 8, you'd end up at the other point, okay? There so there is uh, two ways of doing these types of problems. So again, if it's giving you trouble, talk to your facilitator, talk to your tutor, or come to Mr. Perez's office hours. Okay, anyway, let's go. Now, let's go ahead, okay, and we're going to go ahead and start working on this line, okay. Let me make a note here. Okay, now we're going to do this problem um, using the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. This is how I've been doing it in class because we don't, that way we won't have to remember the uh, point slope formula. These problems can simply be done by remembering the slope formula, which we haven't been using. Um, y2 minus, remember m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, that's a slope formula. Here we're simply using the y equals mx plus b formula, which is the slope intercept formula. So let's get on, get to work here. Okay, Charlie. There's our slope intercept formula up there. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, remember in order to do this, we gotta pick a point. Okay, and we're gonna pick the point six comma one, Charlie. There it is. Doesn't matter which point you choose. You could choose negative two comma negative four, or you could use six one. I'm gonna choose six one. I like to have the numbers positive. So, okay, so now, y equals mx, please, there's up there, Charlie. What's our y value? What? One. What's our slope? Five eighths. Five eighths. What's the x value, Charlie? Six. 
Six, very good, and then we bring down our B there. Okay, now, remember, our goal in this approach is to solve for the B value. Once we get the B value, then we can write out our equation of our line. All right, here we go, Charlie. We gotta uh, clear out that fraction, that eight. So we multiply both sides by what, Charlie? Eight by eight, that's right. And then you have to do what on the right-hand side, Charlie? Distribute. Distribute. Okay. Now, Charlie, left-hand side, what do you end up with? Eight. Eight. Very good. Now, on that right-hand side, those two eights will do what, Charlie? Cancel. They'll cancel. Okay, we'll show our step there. And then what are you left with? Five times six. Five times six. Don't forget to bring down your equal sign. And then what's at the end there? Eight B. Plus eight B. Very good. So. Okay, Charlie, what's 5 times 6? 30. 30. So we'll go ahead and write our equation up there. 8 equals 30 plus 8B. There we go. Very nice. Now, Charlie, we're solving for B. Remember, now, what do we have to do to both sides to solve for B? Subtract 30. Subtract 30 from both sides. Very good. Bring down your bar, your equal sign. Okay. Don't forget, a 30, okay, plus a negative 30, or 30 minus 30 will be 0. So they're basically equals zero, we'll just cancel them out. Okay, Charlie, left-hand side, what's eight subtract 30? Negative 22. Very good. Now, what's left on the right-hand side? 8B. 8B, very good. So, Charlie, to solve for B, okay, let's bring our equation down. How do we solve for B? Divide, by Divide both sides by eight. Very nice, Charlie. Okay. On the right-hand side, the eights cancel. There we go. There we go. And Charlie, what does B equal? Negative 22 over eight. Okay, there we go. We finally got B. We're not done. Remember. So let's go ahead and list our, our slope intercept formula. Y equals MX plus B. There it is up there. And then we just plug in our information and we should end up with what, Charlie? Y equals 5 8 X. That's very good. Y equals 5 8 X minus 27 or over 8. Wait, 2 over 8. To box your answer. So there you have it. That was finding the equations of a line and writing them in slope intercept form using the graphs of the lines, okay? And so we're going to continue on and we're going to deal more with lines in the next lecture. Oh, what fun! Alright, Charlie, get to work! Do your homework! What?